<sighs> Here we are again. Another weekend of mass shootings. Another weekend of hate being displayed, clearly being displayed. Another weekend of thoughts and prayers. I'm a little over thoughts and prayers. No, I'm not a little over. I am over thoughts and prayers. And I'm a praying person. I pray without ceasing. I pray in person. But there's a part of me that is just exhausted. Physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted. It's like, this, this cannot be life. And we just can't keep doing the same old thing. We can't. Yet we do. And I just knew, I knew in my heart that when Sandy Hook happened and those babies died, I just knew that's the turning point. That's where we draw the line. And nothing happened. None happened. We got more thoughts and prayers. We have had so many thoughts and prayers. It's like, clearly we either not praying enough, we not thinking enough, something. Because I don't understand why we keep getting to this place. No, take it back. I think I do understand. I just, I guess, I don't want to understand our fascination. And I use our lightly as a society. Our fascination with this um, angry white man syndrome. Right? And I'm not going to give him any of my airspace. I'd be damned. But let me just talk about that syndrome real quick. It is clear that there are some issues. It is very clear um, that these domestic terrorists are running amok and our government is choosing not to do anything about it. I mean, like, you could do something about it. Like, we could. The fact that these people have put out all kinds of language on the internet you know, I'm just surprised that no one's checking that chatter. Like, this stuff has happened all the time. I just, I don't understand. I don't get it. Or maybe I do. And maybe I don't want to um, truly embrace the honesty of, you know, babies don't matter, old folks don't matter, black lives don't matter, brown lives don't matter, Asian. Like, we clearly don't give a fuck, clearly. Because if we did, we would actually do something. You would really get in there. And I just say to myself, is it really about the money? Is it money? Is it greed? Like I'm trying, is it power? I would like to understand. We do a lot of posturing though. We are good for posturing. We gonna put on our very best. We gonna do some posturing. I I give it to that. But um, I'm just so tired. So tired. But I'm happy that we are moving towards a place of operating. You know, we did a couple of things yesterday, Monday. I decided that I wasn't going to do anything in regards to work. Like, I was like, fuck it. I don't have the heart. I don't have the will. I just don't. I started painting Sunday um, because I'd heard about it Saturday after my class. And I figured, you know what? Let me find some activity that allows me to, you know, veg out, check out for a little bit. Uh... My muscles were feeling it, I will tell you that. But that's why um, the good Lord made tequila. That's why he made tequila. Um, But I had a thought. When 9-11 happened, I was in New York. And I remember having to go out to a friend's spot in, in the White Plains area so I could get to work because everything where I was 34th and below was shut down in terms of like subway service and what people did that weekend was try to regain some sort of control over their lives so they went to organizing their homes right because it's the one spot where you can control some things you can toss out some stuff you can organize some stuff you try to regain control somehow that's what I did I was like, we're going to paint this kitchen. It was the last piece to paint. So I was like, fine, let's paint the kitchen. Let's do a backsplash. Let's organize the cabinets. Let's, let's do all the things. Because you want to feel like you're in control of something. When, you know, the only thing you can control is how you react to what's going on around you. 
but we're here. My eyes are burning now because I'm crying. We're here. And we are determined, right? I know these people are out here snatching our lives and trying to take all of our joy, but we be damned, we are still here. I think that's about all we got, right? Is to uh, move forward and, and press on and create those moments of joy and spend time with family and friends and take action. Because somehow, some way, some of this shit has got to come to an end. Like, real talk. Now, for those of you who don't believe in voting and use your voice, figure that shit out. Figure it out. Because there is so much going on that we have to be more active in all the things. All the things. We gotta start showing up for ourselves. And everybody else, uh, uh, clearly. But let me know how you guys are doing. I mean, today I have plans to get some work done. I mean, it's Wednesday, but we're not going to act like this shit didn't, didn't just happen over the weekend. Like, we're not acting like that. Like, that's just not happening. It's not going down. There's a little glimpse here and there of some good times. I mean, I watched the basketball game last night. That was good. That was a good game. But we will not act as if this has become our new norm. Like, something's gotta give. Like, real talk. 